This Biafra Liberation Army. The resistance fighters. The general commander. On his way arriving from the Biafra Liberation Army. The commander. The general commander of the Biafra Liberation Army. You go back to Obia. Obama the man don't have to talk. The Biafra Liberation Army. The commander. You go back to Obia. All right, welcome back. You have seen it as they go. You go, they wonder uh, what thing did they do as they put their hand like that. And at the Biafra National Anthem, uh, nine, then they sing there. But I know one put them uh, because you go, go for copyright. Uh, and I know I know one put them for there. Uh, but now the thing where we say the people where we say them, they be they observe now the national anthem for the different people nine they, they sing so as you they watch them and you can see those guys the person in front uh, is their commander as uh, he was coming in you can see the guy uh, who was calling him the commander so i think i'm um, uh, with the people there and how they are arranged uh, you don't need uh, you don't need a, a soothsayer uh, to tell you that the guy there is actually the commander of of the army. Uh, when I don't see, I see they go. I say Taylor, the boys na ne hu hu, ane me me. Na na balonkete na ni balonkete na 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 uh, now in the boys then they they do you can see them uh, you can see their faces uh, the guys say how padu para padu and if one anya o eh ya be fine ko abo ko no believe fair what ago eh makana fa no no fa kwado la kwado we bia eh one anya boys ni akwado kwala kwado ni akwado kwala kwado made anya yo enejo kwani enejo o we bule na na nya bu bia fra ami kwado la kwado well put up on our gun. You You can see them. You can see the color of their vehicle. Uh, you can see that it is painted with the with the Biafra flag color. You can see the front of that vehicle. The logo. You saw the Biafra Liberation Army on that logo in front. There. Uh, you can see everybody. You can see what they are doing there. Mm, I think they are still observing the the national anthem um this is to show that they are serious uh, because anybody that is taking their national anthem serious shows that the person is serious uh, even every citizen of every nation wherever your national anthem is sung uh, if you are a true citizen of your country uh, what you will do is to stand at attention and make sure that the national anthem is observed and after that the national pledge uh, you can see that it is still ongoing it is still ongoing it is still ongoing uh, that is what they are observing on yabu na nyabi fe nyabi fe na madli isi makanasi na na abala kana zane nyabu nye jiji ewe luji manako nye abala kana zane nye jiji anako nye i hope you enjoyed watching that video because that is what i am here for uh, like i promise you that i will be bringing you back to back update and information and as i see the heart and one of the promises I've made to you is not to deceive you on this particular channel or not to bring propaganda. I do not support violence, but I'm here to bring to you all the information that you need at your doorstep because information is power. Uh, of course, you know that um, Ifanye Oba, uh, who is one of the uh, uh, who is managing one of the senatorial zone uh, in Anambra State, I think. Um, uh, from the Newi, either Newi South or not, uh, who have defected from Young People's Party from 
All Progressive Congress, APC, uh, said that very soon that Mazi Nandekano will be released from the DSS detention. And when I had that statement and when I was watching that uh, particular stuff online on my TV, uh, I was wondering, is this, is this just a political statement or maybe because um, he is moving from one party to the other so that uh, people will still believe in him, uh, that he is still there for the people. And another question is, why did he defect from Young People's Party uh, to that of um, All Progressive Congress? Of course, it is the Young People's Party that gave him the platform uh, that he used to assume office in Anambra State. I don't think that uh, without the YPP that he will be able to be where he is today. Uh, but one thing about the politicians, Nigerian politicians, is that they do not have an ideology. Nigerian politicians does not have an ideology. If you go to the United States of America, you will find the most popular party there are the Republicans and the Democrats. And um, in the history of America, I don't know if there had been any time a Republican defected to a Democrat or a Democrat moved to Republican because these two people are they have different ideology how they want America to be. And that is why some people will be wondering some things that do happen in America. And you find out that once the Democrats enter office, the system of government, the system of doing things, the approach of America to the world changes. Because the Democrats have their own ideology. They see things from their own mirror, from their own sphere, from their own uh, perspective. They know what they want. They know what they are pushing. And once they get into office, you see them pushing that which they want to push because from the onset, that has been their ideology. That is what they want to do in that office when they get there. And when it comes to the Republicans, once they get into office, you find out that the approach of uh, American government changes. The approach of politicians to the government changes. You find out that there will be a different policy. There will be a different approach to the world different approach to their citizens, different approach to, uh, you know, what they are doing, the activities that are going on in the nation. Uh, because these two political parties, apart from other two political parties in America, which are not well known, uh, you find out that uh, these people have uh, uh, different ideology. They do their things in, in different ways. They both do their things in different ways, in different ways. That's how they do their things because ask me why now i wonder what nigerian politicians are doing uh, tomorrow somebody will move from apc to pdp the next tomorrow and whenever they are doing this thing is any political party that is in power and this is to show you that uh, these people are not even there for anything they are just there for the money <laughs> they are there for the money and the office so because if you are there to to defend your ideology I don't see the reason of defecting from one party to another if that particular party have never offended you, they have not done anything to you. Even if they have done something to you, you are there to fix the party. So that, that is to tell you that Ni Nigerian politicians does not have ideo an ideology to protect. Yes, because had it been they have an ideology, they have something they believe in, they have something they want to achieve, they will remain in one political party. Whether the party is rising or whether the party is, is whether the party is losing or or, or 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 losing or winning, they will still be there because they have grown up with that ideology and they believe that this is how government should be. This is what a political party should achieve in a government, and that is why they are in that particular political party to achieve that. But when you see politicians moving from one party to another, doing uh, uh, party, 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 should I call it party opio? <laughs> party opio. That's purely from one place to another. That will tell you that these people does not have any good agenda for the people. Because had it been they have any good agenda for the people, you find out that they will still remain in their party and make sure that things work out for good. That's just the thing. Meanwhile, I still remember that you are still with your one and only. I know that you love being on this TV on YouTube. <laughs> I'll continue to be your one and only. Where they go to bring you the pure news? We'll be like, Holy Boy, where did they bring from Israel, from Mount Oli? 
Ja bless you, be blessed in the morning and the night. What I go on, uh, what I go on, boy, the team me say, whether you, whether you, are you thirsty? What I go on? <laughs> Miri and I go get there. <laughs> Miri and I go get one, go up your water, you go on the ni you go all a big man, go on a bottle of water. Uh, if you look on a dang with a bottle of water, go on the gang of the gas or the dispenser, there were no log, you know, we had a million of food flowers. Yeah, my son, I'm on there.